And it's not just the adults who are excited. That's right. Just step foot in a school and you can see the kids are just as pumped about the big game. Normally every day we try and keep the kids quiet, have a little munchy minutes and have just peace and quiet while we're eating in here. In the dead of winter, sometimes even the smallest of Minnesotans need something to cheer about. Yeah, they are wound up. Normally we can get them quieted down, but today, yeah, we're having a hard time. This week, talk in the halls of Basswood Elementary has been all about the Minneapolis miracle. Case Keenum threw it and Diggs caught it and he jumped over the guy and he scored. Yeah, it was so amazing! Started screaming and jumping. I volunteer and I take tickets and just to be able to be there in the, in the middle, middle of it all and I've never been uh, hugged and picked up by so many strangers in my life. We're going to have our hands in the air. The school I'm wanted to channel the excitement twice. of the week. And you're going to clap and yell skull. With a spirit day for kids that would be just as memorable. That's kind of like where, where were you when the uh, Minneapolis miracle happened and, and to be able to talk about, you know, at school we did the skull chant on the Friday before the next game. And... Expectations here? are as high as the volume. Because they're a better team than the Eagles. The Vikings are going to win all the way. They're going to beat Nick Foyles, Foles and go in all the way. They better kiss goodbye their season, the Eagles. Big cheers and big smiles this week bring a new generation of Vikings faithful into the fold. And Principal Smith says when, not if, the Vikings go to the Super Bowl, they might just have a purple week or two instead of a purple day.